One thing that is well known in the New Testament is the idea that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But even though we have all sinned, we all have different temptations and things that we struggle with and we succumb to from time to time, it may be reassuring to know that sometimes we may have an opportunity to change a action or change a decision compared to what we once did previously. If you turn to the Gospel accounts, you can read of Simon Peter denying Jesus Christ three times. In the Gospel according to Luke, in chapter 22, verses 55 through 60, we find the words, Now having lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard, and all having sat down together, Peter sat in the midst of them. But a certain maidservant, when she saw him sitting in the light of the fire, and having staring at him, said, this man was also together with him. But he denied him, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And after a little bit, a different one saw him and was saying, You also are one out of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. And after approximately a one-hour interval, then a certain other was stoutly affirming, saying, Of a truth, this man was also with him for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you say. And instantly, while he is still speaking, the rooster crowed. In this passage, Simon Peter denies Jesus three times. And then, in the very next verse, Jesus turns and looks on Peter. And the Lord turned and looked on Peter. And Peter was reminded of the word of the Lord, how that he said to him, Before the rooster crow this day, you will deny me three times. And that is precisely what Simon Peter did. He did deny Jesus three times. He did sin against the Lord. And he has the appropriate response in the next verse. And he went outside and wept bitterly. He was ashamed of his sin, just as we should be as well. But one thing that I want us to note is that if you go to chapter 21 of the Gospel according to John, there is a record where Simon Peter is able to do something other than deny Christ. He is able to affirm his love for him instead. This is in John chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. The words say, Then when they had broken their fast, Jesus says to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He says to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He says to him, Feed my lambs. He says to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He says to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He says to him, Shepherd, my sheep. He says to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was sorrowful because he said to him the third time, Do you love me like a friend? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you like a friend. Jesus says to him, Feed my sheep. And so we can see here that in this particular instance, Peter was able to do something different than what he had done before. He was able to affirm his love for the Lord Jesus. And he did not deny him three times, but rather spoke of his love toward him. And it makes me think of the sins again that we deal with. Things like our addiction to lying, our addiction to sexual sins, our hatred of others, different things like that. If we are facing those temptations, those sins, then we can hopefully be reassured by the idea that we do not always have to be doing those sins. Sometimes we can come to a, a situation similar to a one we had previously where we did sin and do a different action, say a different thing, think a different thing, and not sin again. And I encourage all of us to do that. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and have a nice day.